So first off, the principle for curvature on the globe is the more you see of the globe, the bigger the curvature gets. You see, we got there a small part of the sphere. We got little curvature or relatively little curvature. And we got a medium part of the sphere. We got a bigger curvature. And then we take maybe even a bigger part of the sphere. And we got more curvature going on. And if we have the whole part, we got more curvature <laughs> even. And yeah, that's about the principle. Let's go to the practical part. Now we're in simulation and we see the globe of model. Um, we go high up and we see an increase of curvature slowly increasing. There we have more curvature. And the more we go down, the less curvature is. So that's because the, the higher we go up, the more far away we go from, from the sphere, the more far away we are from the sphere, the more we see of the sphere, the more we see of the sphere. As we said before, the more curvature it gets because we see more of it. You know, makes sense, right? It's quite logical. And the more we go to the sphere, the nearer we are to the sphere, the less we see of it, the more curvature it gets. We see also from the textures, the more textures we see, the more we know see, we see of the surface of the sphere, the more is the curvature, of course. It's very easy, very simple, but it's also very important and we got the same with high angle uh, a wide angle cameras you know that is more a small angle camera that's it's a wide angle camera and you see the the eye level drop off gets smaller you know there and there but the curvature increases tremendously so in outside cameras fish lens cameras often are wide angle cameras and you got a decreased eye level fall off than in the small angle cameras but the small angle cameras on the other side uh, show you a smaller smaller curvature and the wider the angle, the less the fall off gets, but the bigger the curvature gets on the same uh, the same way. So you either see massive curvature going on or you see massive fall off. But you definitely will always see when you go high up uh, the difference. I mean, you can go to. 40,000 meters, maybe a little bit lower. There are still massive, massive difference between the two. And you see, um, uh, there, it's it's in the middle, the, the big difference. I mean, there are also, but the middle is enough. And when you go to the wide angle camera, the middle, it's not that much anymore it's still it's still a big uh, big difference but the biggest difference is there because the yeah the curvature gets so strong and it's very obvious that this is far far uh, far more fall off than this but the main fall off is of course there but you see uh, wider lenses make massive, massive curvature because you see more of the sphere. And of course, when you go up with the wide lenses, same principle applies. The, the more you go up, the more you see, the more the curvature gets. 500 meters we are. But look, there. You, you go up and the curvature gets really, really huge. 
quite fast. Yeah, uh, that's about it. I mean, that's how eye level fall off and curvature get affected by uh, camera angle and perspective. Yeah, and we will stop it here, I think. That's all I wanted to say. I know it's very simple. For some, it's very obvious, but I think it's important to really um, be conscious about how curvature really, really is affected by perspective and the camera angle and how it all works together so we can see the big, big picture. <laughs>